Now we've covered many premium ThinkPads on the channel, let's change that up a bit. This one you've probably never heard of. The unassuming ThinkPad L450 released way back in 2014. Is this 10 year old ThinkPad up to the task in 2024? Well, stick around to find out. If you do enjoy this video and want to see more, then a like and sub will be greatly appreciated. Anyways, let's take a look at this budget banger and see if it's any good. Like I mentioned, the ThinkPad L450 was released in 2014 and were catered towards those on a budget but still seeking a portable and durable laptop. They were quite popular with the education sector as they were generally affordable. A quick look on the Wayback Machine reveals them to be around 500 to 600 pounds, a lot cheaper than their T-Series counterparts. Now, 10 years later, they've been largely forgotten about, hence being quite cheap on the second-hand market. I picked up this pair of L450s for only £35 on eBay. What was apparent was one of them didn't turn on and didn't come with a screen. This didn't worry me as I could use it as a donor laptop for parts. The other laptop had a vertical line on the screen. Again, this wasn't too much of an issue so long the laptop was functional. Let's wait for these ThinkPads to arrive and see what they're all about. Now, this was filmed a while ago with no commentary, so I'll just talk my way through. The two L450s came nicely packed together in a cardboard box. Opening up, you're presented with bubble wrap that will last you a lifetime and two ThinkPad L450s in their own plastic bags. Can't say I've seen that before, but I approve. The first L450 looked in generally good condition with no major points of damage and also came with a battery. The second one, yeah, ain't looking too good. Let's take a better look at these, shall we? Let's save the best for last. This L450 doesn't look great, but there are many valuable parts in it that may come to use later on. It doesn't have a screen, the motherboard is apparently bricked, and it's in an overall dire state. Like, come on, it's even missing the power button. Anyways, I won't go too much into this, so let's have a look at the one that's actually working. This L450 does come with a screen and is in pretty good condition. There aren't too many marks on the outer chassis, ports look clean and palm rest looks good also. This L450 compared to the other is honestly night and day. I'd also like to mention, cause I feel like you're probably asking yourself this, what's the biggest difference between this ThinkPad and something like a T450? Well, the L450 is primarily made out of plastic, whereas the T450 is a tougher glass reinforced plastic. So not a big difference. The L450s also came with lower end hardware, but I'd rather that than four out an extra 300 to 400 quid on a slightly better model. This is why it made so much sense for smaller companies and schools to opt for these cheaper ThinkPads. There really wasn't much of an incentive to get the T450. Alright, here we have the ThinkPad L450. Let's take it apart so we can put some RAM and an SSD inside it and also give it some new thermal paste. So let's just do that real quick. Let's turn the ThinkPad around just like that and take out the battery. And now what we can do is just take out the screws from the back panel. So let's just do that real quick. All right, once that's done, you can just go around the edges and slowly take apart that back cover. All right, let me just be careful not to break anything. And there it is. Okay, so this is the ThinkPad L450. So we currently have no RAM and no SSD. So let's just put some RAM in it to spring it back to life. So. Just got an eight gigabyte stick of crucial DDR3L RAM. Let's just put it in the in the socket. Okay, just like that. And I've also got a 120 gig SSD. There you go. Okay, so what I want to do now is just unscrew the heatsink so we can actually replace the thermal paste. So let me get my screwdriver and take apart the heatsink. But before I do that, let me just take out the little connector that's under it. Okay, just like that. All right, let's take out the heatsink connector, just like that, and just take apart all the screws that are holding down the heatsink. Okay, there it is. So this is the heatsink of the ThinkPad L450. And yep, that thermal paste is dry as hell. So let's just clean it up and put some new thermal paste. All right, let me get some isopropyl alcohol and put it on a little tissue and just wipe away that old thermal paste just like that nice and easy okay and what we have to do now is just put thermal paste on both dies just a little just a little piece size dot of thermal paste will do that should be enough and just like that to be fair that fan does look relatively clean but i'll give it a quick brush just in case and by quick brush i mean Looks clean, doesn't it? All right, and let's 
put the connector back in so it actually turns on okay we don't want an overheating cpu do we uh okay so that's pretty much it so that's the disassembly done i mean it only took about what five minutes so quite easy let's put the back panel on and turn on the thinkpad and see if it boots up okay here we have the thinkpad l450 let's turn it on and see if it goes into the bios so let me just press the power button and spam click the enter key and the first thing you see is that vertical line on the screen okay so let's go into the bios see if it loads and to be fair where did that vertical line disappear okay that's really weird so what we're working with is an i5-5200U CPU and 8 gigabytes of RAM which we installed in this thinkpad and the BIOS date says 31st of October 2019 so the last time this thinkpad was properly used was around four to five years ago I mean other than that I do see a few pressure marks which makes sense I don't expect the screen to be pristine it does look pretty good again I don't know where that vertical line went that is really strange I don't know if I've ever seen that just a vertical line disappear as I go into the BIOS is that a graphical issue maybe hmm well, we'll find out after doing some tests, we'll do some benchmarks on it and obviously see how this ThinkPad performs in 2024. Let's install Windows on the L450. Let's go into the boot menu. Yeah, that vertical line isn't there anymore. I don't know what happened to that vertical line. I mean, I'm not complaining. It makes this ThinkPad a lot more better. All right, let's go into the USB drive. I could theoretically put Windows 11 on this, but Honestly, I don't think it would perform as well. I feel like Windows 10 is the best operating system for this. Or Linux. I'll say Linux because I feel like I'm going to get a lot of slack for that. <laughs> uh, okay, I do not have a product key. I don't know why that's happened. Uh, yeah, Windows 10 Pro. Okay, custom. Oh yeah, I forgot I already have Windows on this. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just delete these and reformat them. And in a few minutes, we should be into Windows 10. All right, let me just skip this whole setup process and get into Windows. So just give me a few minutes and we'll be right into Windows 10. All right, we're finally into Windows 10. Let's install some drivers and some apps and finally run some benchmarks to see how this thing can perform. As you watch me install all the apps and drivers, I just wanted to mention what we're working with. This is a budget ThinkPad from the dark days of Intel, so hold your expectations. However, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with what happens. So all the drivers have been installed. Let's go into Task Manager and see what we're working with. Okay, so into Task Manager, Performance. So the CPU that we have in this L450 is an i5-5200U CPU with two cores and four threads running at 2200 megahertz. Beast of a CPU that is. All right, so into memory, we have eight gigabytes of DDR3 1867 megahertz RAM, which is okay as far as DDR3 goes. So we have a 120 gig SATA SSD, which is okay. We have wireless AC Wi-Fi, which would have been good 10 years ago. Not anymore, we have Wi-Fi 6E, that would have been a lot better, but obviously this is a 10 year old ThinkPad, so you gotta limit your expectations. And for the GPU, we have Intel HD Graphics 5500. You know what, we'll see how good those graphics are in a few tests later on. So the first benchmark we have is Cinebench R23. How far can I push these two cores and four threads on this ThinkPad? All right, let's take a look. Two cores and four threads. Remember the days when that used to be good? Anyways, the i5-5200U in this system certainly put up a fight. One thing that was quite noticeable, or not, was the fan noise. It was barely audible. Thanks to these U-series chips, they sit power on load, so in theory, battery life should be a whole lot better. Alright, the score is in. So, we got a score of 1173, which honestly is a lot better than I expected. Remember, this is a 2-core and 4-thread CPU from 2014-2015 around that time. So, to get a score over a thousand is pretty, pretty good. One thing I forgot to mention was the screen. What screen do we have in this ThinkPad L450? So, let's go into settings and see what we're working with. So, into system and scrolling down. So, we do in fact have a 3066 by 768 panel, unfortunately. I mean, it would have been a lot better to have a 1080p, but can't get everything, can you? Here we have Heaven Benchmark on the ThinkPad L450. 
Let's see how good those Intel HD graphics really are. So let's just run it and see what score we get. I mean, it isn't looking that good, is it? But who knows, maybe at the end of the test, we'll get a pretty decent score. So let me start the benchmark and see what we get at the end. Now, what I can say is the graphical side is certainly not as strong as the CPU. Yes, we're running Intel HD graphics, which were never known for their performance, but you really wouldn't want to run graphically heavy applications on this. Take it from me. All right, so we got an average FPS of 15.5 and a measly score of only 390. Yikes. I mean, I'm not surprised. We are working with Intel HD graphics. But hey, at least the test didn't crash. Now the most important test of them all, Minecraft. Here we have Minecraft Java running on the L450. Let's see how good it does. Now, I know these ThinkPads weren't meant for gaming. Keep in mind, we are working with Intel HD graphics, so you gotta limit your expectations somewhat. But this test is purely just to see if Minecraft can run. And currently we're getting around 90 FPS. I mean, well, 70 to the mid 90s, I'd say. But this is quite smooth. We're currently set on eight chunks, fancy graphics and clouds, which I'd say is what most people play on. And yeah, I mean, we're getting around the mid 80s, 84, 85, flying around, the FPS doesn't dip that much. You will get a few intermittent dips when generating new chunks. But other than that, I'd say this is quite playable. If you want to play Minecraft on L450, you certainly can. Of course, we have to talk about how usable the ThinkPad actually is. Surprise be told, it's actually not that bad. Applications open up relatively quick with no hiccups to account of. Browsing the web was no issue, though images did take a while to load. This could honestly just be my internet. I've said it many times, but those ThinkPad keyboards are simply unmatched. It's a pleasure to type on. I tested the track point and touchpad buttons and they seem to be functional. The speakers on these aren't the best, but they do the job. It's got a full size SD card slot, which is nice. I checked the battery to see if it had any juice left and oh boy was it finished. Only two hours of remaining capacity. What did they do to you? And finally, the screen. Given it's a TN panel, I really didn't expect much. And yeah, those viewing angles are simply atrocious, but hey, for only £35, I honestly can't complain. Oh yeah, after filming, the vertical line came back, so I probably won't be using this anytime soon. Anyways, I think I've covered everything there is to this ThinkPad. What do you think about the L450? Leave your thoughts down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then a like and sub will be awesome. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.